For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Atwalls Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm you guys a bit of a review video on a brand new tent from Quest. So with me here today, I've got the Quest Gobi Bell Tent. So essentially the Gobi Bell Tent is, as it kind of suggests, is sort of kind of a bell tent. Really nice and kind of goes into Quest Bell Tent range as the smallest model that they tend to offer. So what you see is they kind of do everything from a big kind of emperor to a tall rag to a normal kind of bow tent in a five meter, four meter, and it sits a little bit smaller than that. It's a little bit of a different design in comparison to say a traditional kind of bow tent. You haven't got, well, the bow kind of part of it. It's a lot more squarer, more similar I'd say to something like the um, Cabernon Guadeloupe Numia kind of style. In terms of its size, it's three and a half meters deep by two meters 90 wide. So it's really got a good sort of floor plan Really, probably looking this at maybe sort of uh, ideal for couples, or you can actually sleep up to four people in here if you really wanted to. It made from a beautiful, really nice 100% cotton canvas, so you've got a really great lifespan. And I know a lot of people these buy these kind of products for um, glamping tents, you know, for campsites like that. So it's not just really for kind of the camping market in the UK. A lot of campsites will use these as accommodation. So that's kind of a bit of a testimony to kind of how well they're made and the materials they tend to use. We've got this really nice different kind of two-tone fabric. So you've got almost like the kind of the beige um, mixed with the gray. And I think actually it actually looks to kind of make it look a little bit smarter than just having it all kind of one creamy kind of color. Um, actually, to be fair, it just, it emphasizes a lot of details that's actually built into it. So we've got a single pole that goes through, uh, directly through the roof. And then we've got kind of this, we call it like a ridge system. So where we've got two upright poles and then a cross member as well means you can get this sec section really nice and taut all the time and it gives it a nice structure. By having it in this way rather than a traditional kind of bow tent with kind of an apex part, you can actually get headroom height in and out of here and it increases your kind of ventilation point because you're not going up to a triangle. You know, it's a bit more square and a bit more rigid. It's very easy to pitch. You can see myself pitch it on our Atwalls pitching and packing video. I think it took me a total of like five, six minutes. And that's one of the joys of this in, in a way is that it's very simple to pitch. Uh, and again, also to pack away, as you can see. You've got a PVC ground sheet. It's a really nice, strong ground sheet. Again, it's all about making it nice and durable. And then throughout the whole kind of around the outside, you've got guy ropes. So proper nice corded guy ropes with metal kind of runners to get additional tension as you need to. There's also elasticated loops around that point. Just take a little bit of a strain away. So when you have those kind of gusty weathers, it doesn't necessarily pull straight from the seam. You know, it's got a little bit of give to it. We've got a really nice big full frontal mesh door, and there's also a normal door as well. That's perfect for allowing also the airflow into the actual kind of tent itself. And because it's cotton, you kind of benefit a little bit from having that breathability inside the tent. So it'll be a lot cooler on a warm day than it would be in a normal polyester tent. It Velcros, there's a little lip on the bottom, so it Velcros up and Velcros down, and then Velcros to each panel, so either the mesh panel or the normal panel itself. We've got PVC windows here as well, and there's a little zip curtain behind it, which you can see probably from this side, just to give that level of privacy when you wanted to. By having a kind of this kind of higher footer design, what you find is actually it helps to give a better interior height. So rather than the slope from the very bottom going up and losing that much space, by having this kind of sort of tailored effect, what you find is that, yeah, certainly when you stand inside, you can get things, or even bedding, for example, closer to the edge, because you haven't got to allow for the slope down. Not only have you got uh, pegging points on the ground sheet to get looking taut, but additional pegging points around the base to kind of bring that trim out. And again, it's all elasticated loops there as well. The trick really with these things is to follow the seams to get it pegged out and it, when it's up, it looks really nice and taut. Because it's naturally cotton, you have to go for a wearing process when you first buy it. Just basically I pitch it in the garden like I have here, get a hose pop out, give it absolute drenching. Essentially, the base of the cotton will sort of swell up and plump up. It then essentially seals itself the first time around. It's best to do it in a controlled environment and you can check the tent before you go away than when you're on campsite and suddenly have a bit of, um, a bit of water coming in because it will the first time. The front door itself, like we can see here, you've got a mesh part which you can open up and get into it. You can unvelcro that point and then you've got this lip here which can actually kind of guy sort of come down so it creates a bit of a no sort of trip hazard into the actual part itself. I'll tell you what, let's bring the camera inside and get a bit more of a better feel for the uh, Gobi itself. 
So I think look, it's a really quite smart looking tent. Sits really well. That's one of the joys of sitting the canvas is how well it looks. Uh, and I say you probably actually feel that angle. See the better of the kind of two tone certainly on the sides. Sits really nicely and works well. As we come inside, we can see obviously we've got the PVC kind of ground sheet. So it's really nice and robust. You've got one central central pole that goes up to the point point. You've also got a hanging point here for uh, a lantern or eventually if potentially do some bedrooms. It's not available at the moment, but you can obviously hang it from that point there. But then when you're inside, you've got obviously a little window and then you've got the curtain on the other side and it merely just kind of zips down quite nice and neatly. Beneath the window, you've also got a storage pocket. So you can probably just about see that from inside here. So you've got a storage pocket built in there so you can just kind of declutter the main part of the tent as well. But the ground sheet is physically uh, attached so it's stitched in as well. So you can't remove it. So again, it gives you that complete sort of sense of feel uh, and sort of security when you're in the actual tent itself. And there's additional loops basically here uh, for if, you know, future proof potentially if they've put a bedroom kind of section in. But like I said, for me, it looks really, really quite nice and sharp. Now straight away, actually, when you walk inside, you can tell the difference with kind of using that full cotton material. You know, it does feel a bit, um, a bit cooler inside there in comparison to say a normal kind of uh, polyester tent, as I mentioned. A very more square design, so very more probably pitch friendly. Um, rather than being kind of rounded and splaying itself absolutely everywhere. The natural cotton obviously is because traditionally people have moved away from it over the years just because the cost goes up um, by going and using full cotton rather than say like a mix like poly cotton. Um, but really, you know, it's gone back to this, a quite, quite a staggering price point for what you pay for what you get. That's one of the probably nice things I do like about kind of the Quest Bell tent range in general. Naturally, in terms of the overall weight, it is a bit heavier because you've got the full cotton and the PVC ground sheet. So the, the, the whole thing, including the poles, runs around about 30 kilograms. When you remove poles, I think it's around about sort of 26-ish, uh, 25. But you can separate that and need be. Pack size around about 1 meter 15 from memory. But by all means, check the link below this video. It talks you through. We've got a link to all of our uh, details on it from pack sizes, four dimensions, uh, additional pictures. Uh, as well as obviously the price more importantly and other extras you can get to go with it but I think for me it's something small compact smart and if you look at the comparison model like I said in the Guadalupe range from a price point it's incredibly good value so for me it's a bit of a winner really it's certainly one we'll try and have up in, in the show if we can try and squeeze it in some way or another just because I think it's a really nice point of difference in comparison to what else is there on the market but I think for me you get pretty much the thumbs up in terms of a lot of different features to be fair. It's nice to see some cotton, cotton canvas back into the range really. So yeah, that's kind of the Quest Gobi Bell Tent. Like I said, if more questions, feel free to comment in the box below, email us directly and always let us know what you think. But thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon.